Due to the evidence and information gathered in this investigation, we are alleging that the actions undertaken by Lorenzo Rafael Orfila, Rodriguez, and Rafael Otano are serious criminal acts, and that is why they are being charged today. Two Hialeah police officers now out of a job and behind bars accused of a disturbing crime. An investigation revealed the two men allegedly beat a homeless man who was handcuffed until he lost consciousness. Officials say the former officers actually turned off their body cameras before it happened. CBS 4's Yvonne Taylor joins us live from Hialeah where all of this unfolded. Yvonne? Elliot and Lauren, let me start by saying that both police officers turned themselves in this morning and they could face life in prison if convicted. See, prosecutors are saying that instead of taking this alleged victim to a police station, which would be the norm, they took him to a location over six miles away from here. We start with that video. Surveillance video captured the moment when 50-year-old Jose Ortega Gutierrez is walked handcuffed towards a Hialeah police unit. Officers Lorenzo Orfila and Rafael Otano are holding the men. Investigators call him the victim. And before leaving the shopping plaza located on 60th Street and 19th Avenue, West Hialeah, they put on their emergency lights. What happened to Ortega Gutierrez is the reason why these two now former Hialeah police officers face life sentencing charges. He was taken to an isolated and dark location against his will. Investigators show the location, 97th Avenue, Northwest 174th Street. While handcuffed, he was allegedly beaten and thrown to the ground by the officers. Ultimately, he woke up alone, unhandcuffed, and bleeding from the head in the same isolated area. State attorney said the victim revealed he walked south and ran into a person who was walking his dog, ironically an off-duty Hialeah police officer who called 911. Ortega Gutierrez subsequently provided the Hialeah Police Department with a sworn video-recorded statement attesting to these facts. 22-year-old police officer Lorenzo Rafael Orfila Rodriguez a three-year member of the department is being charged with one count of armed kidnapping, which is a life felony, 27-year-old police officer Rafael Otano. He is a five-year member of the department, and he is being charged with one count of armed kidnapping, again, a life felony, one count battery, first-degree misdemeanor. Let these arrests send a clear message to everyone who wears a badge that swears to uphold the oath. But I can tell you that there is a lot more to the story. A third person was arrested. He was a civilian. And we'll, take, we'll tell you who that person is. Also, what happened with the alleged victim, Mr. Ortega. All that coming up at 6 here on CBS 4 News. Live in Hialeah, Ivan Taylor, back to you.